Chapter 5, Mishnah 2. A utensil cannot block Tuma on its own. Even a utensil that does not become Tame itself cannot block Tuma from spreading. Nevertheless, it can fill a hole in a roof or a wall and join with the structure to block Tuma. Our Mishnah discusses whether this law applies to a broken utensil. If there is an opening in the ceiling between the ground floor of a house and the upper story, and there is a corpse in the house on the ground floor, and the opening was between the two story and the opening between the two stories is covered by an earthenware pot that was placed over it. But the pot has a hole in it large enough to let liquid seep in from the outside so that it is considered a broken pot. Beisham, I say, everything in the upper floor, including the pot, becomes tam becomes tame. The tuma from the lower floor enters the pot through the small hole in it, thereby making it tame. This makes the pot unable to block the tuma in the lower floor from entering the upper floor. But Basil will say the pot becomes tame by rabbinic decree, but the upper floor remains tahor. According to Beis Hillel, under biblical law, tuma does not enter the pot through its hole, and the pot is therefore able to block the tuma from going up. Nevertheless, the rabbis decreed that the pot itself should be treated as tami. A third opinion. Rabbi Akiva says even the pot remains tahor. Rabbi Akiva follows the view of Beis Hillel that Tuma cannot enter the pot through the small hole in it, but he adds that there was never any rabbinic decree to make the pot tame. Thus, everything is tahor, even the pot.